Hi, this is Brian Gracely. Welcome back to this series of videos talking about cloud computing, but really looking at it from a business manager's perspective. We're now going to look at what I've sort of labeled as, as uh, IT is probably going to be your next generation marketing department, or at least what I really mean by that is um, your marketing organization had better have as much DNA about technology as they do about uh, understanding markets, about understanding market segmentation, about pricing, about product placement, about um, all those sort of things. Technology is going to be as critical uh, as all those other sort of core elements that you might think about from a marketing department, communication department, and so forth. So let's sort of think about what that means, okay? The reason I bring that up is this. Traditionally, your marketing organization, your product organization would have uh, you know, done all the research they've done. They would have figured out the four P's for price and uh, placement and positioning and packaging and, and all the, the P's of marketing. They would have done all their research about where markets are going. But the challenge with that is a lot of that's based on uh, old school ways of thinking. Um, it's based on you controlling the message of what you're taking to the market. And it's about uh, being able to take research data that came from you know, 10 years ago, but may not be, or five years ago, but may not necessarily be literally like real time, right? It might not take into consideration that your competitor launched something the day before the day after what you did. So let's sort of look at how that shifts. You know, in the past, you may have had uh, your, your website, right? Your .com, what they typically will call a .com website. That's going to be fed with your product information. It's going to be fed with your, your marketing message, right? The things that you want to take to the market. And, and all the things that you want to control, you're going to tell your customers, here's how you should use the product. You're going to tell your customers, here's how you should think about my products or my services, right? This could obviously be services as well. Um, but but it's, it's a, it's a one-way channel, right? So if this was your customer out here, you are going to be telling your customer how you want to be understood, how you want to be represented. It all changes. It's all changed over the last couple of years, and technology is the core of that. Now, what do I mean? Well, in most cases, your website is not the first place your customers are going to come to. The first place your customers are going to go to to find out about you is other customers, their friends, um, your competition. All these other places, they're going to go to first. They're going to go to social media. They're going to go to product reviews because uh, you know lots of websites these days, lots of locations, lots of communities allow you to review things. Not on your website, right? So the flow of information is bi-directional, but it's outside of where you're at. Now, what does that mean from a business manager's perspective, and why does technology play a critical role in that? Well, a couple of things. First and foremost, it means you're going to need help from a technology perspective being able to not only participate in these communities, right? I'll call them like external communities. There, there are lots of locations uh, where information about you is being communicated. But you also need a technology way to get that information back. You want to learn about what your customers are talking about. You want to learn about it in real time. You'd like to maybe be able to do some analysis of what they're talking about, right? And this might be market research, traditional market research. This might be, um, you know, your partners and their ability to collect information about sales, about uh, logistics, about manufacturing, about whatever, right? You want that to be part of what you're doing. You want to be able to collect these types of, of information, and you want that to, to help you understand how to shape your message, how to participate in the message. You want to know how to how it should shape your product and service portfolio, right? This is where you're going to need technology, right? An IT organization or an external technology partner to help you with these things, because this, like, is becoming one of the last places people go to learn about you. Right, so what do you do when you don't control the message? Well, it means I better understand this. It means I better have a sense of how these people are getting information. And maybe I have to make things as simple as, you know, can I get it on a mobile device? Can I get it on a tablet? Do I offer an app that anybody can go get that makes it simple to learn about my product? Do I have a way to demo my product, to demonstrate my product, to try my product for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days? Do I have a way to do that? Um, Technology is going to help in tremendous ways to do that. Cloud computing plays a huge role in that because if you're going to get into business models and say, well, I've got to let my customer try it for 30 days, for 60 days, for 90 days, I better have a scalable model. I better have a model that may involve 
um, you know, being able to work across these different communities and so forth. So it's thinking about marketing from the perspective of not just I control what I control, right? I control my product, I control my service, I control what I do, but how do I deal with this part of the world where depending on what my product is, my customers might want to modify it, they might want to change it, it could be a physical thing, it could be a digital thing, they may want to talk about it in ways that don't align to my message. How can I participate in that, right? So thinking about all these types of things um, are gonna be really, really critical and the way you're gonna participate in these conversations is through technology, right? It could be social media. It could be through what are called APIs to allow you to get digital information back or plug digital information into these communities. But knowing how to do this is gonna be really, really critical. This isn't what you traditionally consider a marketing function, which is control my message, understand my market. This is gonna be listening to the market in a way that is very, very different for you. So really, really critical for uh, your marketing uh, DNA, your marketing arm, your marketing people to be thinking about technology, thinking about how do I put information in people's hands easily, how do I do it in a way that will scale up or down um, because they don't necessarily know how the market's going to react to your product. How are you going to get feedback about the market in real time, right? not just waiting for analyst reports, not just waiting for you know, years of, of customer data to, to accumulate. How do you do that in real time and how do you do it both for things that you directly have input to and indirectly have input to. So thinking about all these things um, from a from a you know how to collect market information, how to go to market, how to interact with the market, and the technology aspects of these, and we obviously didn't touch about the technology, but but there's a core set of technology in here. As a business manager, understanding this is the changing dynamics that's happening from I control it, it's a one-way street to my customer to Lots of things are influencing my customer, lots of things are bombarding my customer. It's really, really important to get your arms around. I've got to find some people. I've got to, I've got to be smarter about the technology aspects that are going to help me with this part of the changing world. So hope this was useful for you. Um, hope this started to trigger some thoughts in your head about how do I go to market better? How do I listen to the market better? How do I participate in the market better? And how technology is really going to shape my involvement in marketing and my overall product portfolio and product mix. Thank you.